Increasingly in the world today, the voice of faith communities is being recognised and a strong, united Christian voice will be listened to when it is properly expressed. And one of the things this uh, meeting, this assembly is trying to do is to actually articulate that voice accurately and clearly. And I think we've seen time and time again in recent years when Christians work together and sometimes other faith groups as well work with them. When we say something together, then we are listened to by the political establishment. So I think that's partly what they're trying to do here. And they're doing it, I think so far, it looks as though they're going to do it successfully. If you look at the history of ecumenism right back into the 19th century, the Anglicans were at the very, very forefront of that. You remember the Lambeth Quadrilateral, which was drawn out of ecumenical conversation. The Lambeth Appeal to All Christian People, 1920. Again, Anglicans trying to take a lead on ecumenism. We were there involved in the first the, the uh, Edinburgh Conference in 1910. We've been deeply committed all along, but it's also part of our own self-understanding. We, as Anglicans, have never claimed to be the final or full expression of the Church. We've always seen that as being incomplete, and the completeness of the Church, the unity of the Church, is something, therefore, that we prioritise in all of our life. We ought to, anyhow. We're here located in Korea, and the churches in Korea, particularly the Anglican Church in Korea, have witnessed very strongly to the notion of reconciliation in a divided uh, island here. And while there are divisions in other parts of the world, in Korea it's very, very personal. Uh, people see it very much as part of family. Families were divided when the divisions arose. Uh, so it's very, very personal and it happens to them. And I think one of the things the Anglican Church in Korea does is stood for that sense of peace and reconciliation strongly and firmly and consistently over the years they've done it. I think the way in which they've taken that message into this assembly with the other Korean churches in the presentation we saw and the opening uh, actions uh, on the first day, the way they've taken it in is a very strong witness because sometimes we get used to divisions in the world and we sort of learn to live with them and we tend to ignore them. That doesn't happen in Korea. They live it and make it real all the time. So I'd like to take on that sort of personal Christian commitment to overcoming divisions in a practical way.